personal connection, Durham Durham was a privilege in being put in direct contact with the teenage Palestinian activist Ahed Tamimi. Through liaising with Basim, her father, it was concluded that the best way in which Ahed would be able to share her story with us would be through a video in which she would answer questions we put forward. These questions included, what are the biggest struggles you and your family face at the moment? What message would you share with the young people of Australia? And um, what do you most long for? However, this video was not able to make it in time for the festival today. It will be posted on the Durham website at a later date with a head speaking in Arabic with subtitles. We will be notifying you when this occurs and I encourage all of you to take the time to watch the video as well as investigate further the situation that Palestinians, including a head face. We will never be able to fully understand the conflict that is in essence a world away. However, through asking questions, we can better equip ourselves to form a perspective. Should we call it an apartheid? The United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Western Australia published in 2017 a report that concluded that Israeli government is guilty of the crime of apartheid as defined under international convention. This was before the nation state law that passed in 2018 which further ignored and um, demoted the 9 million Israeli citizen, Arab citizens, one-fifth of the state. On Thursday, the Israeli government banned the entry of the two U.S. Muslim congresswomen, only altering, altering their decision on Friday for one to visit her grandmother. Does this convey the ideals of democracy? We do not condone violence. However, Ahead is one of the very few examples in which a young person has been able to spread their message internationally and we look forward to hearing her 